They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you're royal, you're rebel, you're more than one together. However you go, ever and ever after high. You can't be serious. There are definitely more rebels at Ever After High than royals. Wanna bet? What about Apple White? She upholds royal tradition while always being the fairest of them all. Sure, but Rebel Raven Queen happens to be rewriting her destiny. Well, Briar Beauty is a royal through and through. Cerise Hood, total rebel. Blondie Locks, Ash Lanella. Cedarwood, Hunter Huntsman. Holly O'Hare. Ah, uh, Poppy O'Hare. <laughs> Kitty Cheshire. She's kind of hard to categorize. Kitty? Uh, well, she's obviously a rebel. Kitty Cheshire is a royal. You know what? Let's just watch Kitty, shall we? And we'll see that she's a rebel. Royal. That's Kitty playing on the royal croquet team. I'm right. Uh -uh, but mixing things up, that's pretty rebellious. <laughs> well, there she is having tea with Duchess Swan, who is a royal. In Madeline Hatter's very rebellious Wonderland tea shop. And look, only a rebel would cause this kind of trouble in class. Being mischievous is Kitty following her story, which all good royals do. Hey, Kitty. <laughs> Can I ask you something? See, the narrators have been watching you, and, and they want to know if I'm a royal or a rebel. She knew? Oh, no fair. Not cool. <laughs> I would tell them, but where's the fun in that? Chaos is keeping people guessing, and that makes this kitty purr. <laughs> Time for a catnap. I'm confused. Are there more rebels or royals? Um, hey, there's Duchess Swan. Total royal. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, what about Madeline Hatter herself? You can't get any more rebellious than that. Am I right, or am I right? I'm right. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone.